daw po yung tamang verb para sa subject na money, time, measurement, and distance. So, please, kailangan correct ang relationship between sa subject and sa verb, sa pronoun, o kaya naman sa noun referent, at sa pronoun o and its pronoun referent, then tag dating agreement. Kailangan ang singular natin na subject ay magkaroon ng singular na verb. Kung plural naman ang iyong subject, plural din dapat ang iyong verb. So, in case ang iyong subject ay distance, measurement, money, rate, and time, halimbawa niyan ay 10 kilos of meat, kailangan ng singular na verb ng distance, measurement, money, rate, and time as subject. So, 10 kilos of meat was cooked. Itong 10 kilos ang ating subject. 10 kilos of meat. Kailangan niya na singular. Kaya was ang ating ginamit. 3 gallons. Yan. 3 gallons of ice cream is enough for the party. So, may pagkakaiben dito. Kung lalagyan natin yan ng the, the 10 kilos of meat we cooked, magiging plural na siya. Kapag yung ating uh, distance, measurement, money, rate, and time na yan ay preceded by the article the. Kapag may the, the, kailangan niya ng plural verb. The 10 kilos of meat, meat we cooked were just, were ang ating verb na plural. Since meron tayong article na the before ng pwedeng distance, measurement, money, rate, at time. The 10 kilos of meat we cooked were just sufficient. The 3 gallons of ice cream, to may the. Tapos, 3 gallons of ice cream have not been enough. Ganun din ang mangyayari sa distance, measurement, money, rate, and time. Kapag merong the sa unahan nila, gagawan mo ng verb na plural. Okay? Kapag naman the number, o kaya naman ay the variety of, at saka yung a number o a variety of, unahin natin ang the number. The number of attendees. Kahit plural pa ang of phrase ng the number, sabi sa rule, kailangan niya lagi ng singular na verb. So, the number of attendees is, kasi singular ang the number. The number of attendees is more than, more now than last year's. I've seen the variety. Sabi sa rule, the number o the variety of, kailangan ng singular. Kaya singular ating verb na costs. I've seen the variety of shirts, kahit pa yan, plural ang of phrase niya. I've seen the variety of shirts which costs less in Bangkok. Kapag naman a number, a number, or a number o a variety of, kailangan niya ng plural verb. Okay? A number of guests arrive from the city every month. A number of animals are found in the wild. Basta pag the number or the, na, the variety of, kailangan mo ng singular na verb. Kapag naman a number or a variety of, kailangan mo lagi dyan ng plural na verb. Okay?